we just had people just stand maybe where you were and praise the Lord for what was going on. But we got some feedback for other people out there watching or later on that I want to watch what's going on here at Charity Baptist Church. And uh, they couldn't hear the testimony. So they, if you have a testimony in the Lord and you want to share, the Holy Spirit's leading you. We just have you come up here to this microphone and just share with us what the Lord's put upon your heart to encourage each one of us. So anybody want to lead? Anybody want have anything to share from the Lord, a praise or anything? They want to come forward and share with us this morning? Anybody? Welcome you to come. You don't have to, but if the Holy Spirit's speaking to you, you know you want to come. And you want to... Okay, Shannon's going to come forward and share. My sister. Well, most of you know that we've been doing a parenting class um, with a couple other gals that go to work with me, one single mom and then um, another family. So we did our last lesson in Growing Kids God's Way um, on Friday night. And the week before, we'd been talking about some encouragement or maybe even direction that um, one of the families ne really needed. And we were talking about how as brothers and sisters in the Lord, we could gently provide this encouragement or direction. And, um, and really the Lord didn't speak to any of us in any confident way that we felt like you know we could deliver this encouragement in a, in a loving way that was just going to be taken correctly and as soon as we pushed play on the dvd we had not ever been all the way through this we'd been partially through it so lee and i didn't know what was coming in the last lesson um but it was just nailing every point with God's word that we felt in our hearts that we needed to expand on or remind the group about some things in um, parenting, that it's, it's about our relationship with the Lord and staying in alignment with him. And when we do that, then God blesses our ability to parent and what our children's behavior looks like and um, so it was it was just God's timing and it was really a relief and as we left you know Lee's like do you think we should have brought these things up and I said no because who can say it better than God's word <laughs> and I didn't know those particular scriptures and points um, weren't coming to me so so it was a real blessing for all of us. Thanks, Shannon. A couple families we've been praying for to hopefully maybe get them implanted in church here. I know uh, one's going to a different church, and Katie's not. Katie's not going, is she? She go. She goes same place. Oh, different. Okay, different place. But be praying that the Lord. I'd be praying. We don't want to swipe people from other churches either, but uh, it'd be nice to have them uh, come and fellowship with us. Anybody else testimony in the Lord you'd like to share this morning? Jancy, come on. I knew earlier, well, I've known for a while, a direction the Lord was pressing me with my business, and I knew what it was, but I am not, didn't want to take the risk, and so I've been putting it off, putting it off, and all this week, Monday, Tuesday especially, I was just dead, dead tired. Thought, to myself, I'm telling myself, oh, it's just tax season hangover, I'm just tired, I'm just, you know, worn out, no big deal, and kind of kept pushing the Lord away because I didn't want to take his advice, you know, if I can keep him away, I can do it my way. And finally, Wednesday, I gave in, and I talked to Joey about what I wanted to do. And of course, he was in agreement, because we all know Joey's a nice person. And so I did what I wanted to do and finally made all the arrangements on Thursday and Friday. And imagine that. My energy is coming back. I feel tons better. We went to Billings and made the final purchases to do all I needed to do yesterday. And I'm ready to go to work on Monday. And it's like, you know, the Lord puts all these people, all these things right in front of us. And I always think when I read the Bible, why doesn't God speak to me like all these other people in the Bible? He does, I just choose to ignore it. And when he, you know, if you listen to him, he's right there. Thanks, Jancy. Yep, stepping out there where the Lord was leading you to step out. and uh, Doesn't feel comfortable sometimes, does it? <laughs> but I, I can attest to that too. Uh, the Lord can give you, give you energy when you don't think that you could have energy. I mean, I try and rise early and spend time with the Lord and... And I have the energy. 
to keep going. So uh, he'll give you the energy too if you're walking with him. You've got your focus on him. He's going to give you energy to do the work. Uh, anybody else? Anything they want to share? Encourage your hearts this morning. Okay, I'm going to bring Brother Kurt up, lead us in our next hymn.